Howdy, Ags. Welcome to Aggie Growth Hacks, the podcast that's dedicated to helping entrepreneurs improve their business, connect with other Aggie entrepreneurs, and support one another. I'm your host, Greg Martin, Fighting Texas Aggie Class of 2001. And I'm your co-host, Chris Hunter, Fighting Texas Aggie Class of 1998. Whoop. Well, we got a little story for you, Ags. Season six is in the books. Thank you so much for joining us for this entire season and learning and connecting with some amazing, great Aggie entrepreneurs. We have learned so much over the last season, talking with over 20 Aggie entrepreneurs and seeing how they have grown strong, how they have led their teams, and how they have defined and used their values to grow their businesses. Chris, looking back over the last 20 or so episodes, we've, we've learned a lot. We had a lot of diversity within our guests. What were you know a couple things that when you look back on season six that really you know perk your your interest or things like yeah let's let's write that down. I know you've got three notebooks <laughs> at this point uh, but but some things that that really have stuck with you this season. So I think the biggest one to me that really stuck out the most is how strong that the entrepreneurial spirit is inside of the the Aggie entrepreneur. Uh, community. And w- when I say that, I mean that like how Aggies are just really willing to pass it back, right? And to help other Aggie entrepreneurs out, right? Including student entrepreneurs, you know, and I, I just think that's really, really awesome. I think that some of the other things that really stuck out to me are there were several fractional entrepreneurs, meaning that that they are doing a small portion of of like a COO or, or a C. I mean, so for instance, we had, you know, Sasha Crabtree, right, with remote COO doing yep. chief operations, fractional chief operations, right, officer. And, and I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. I didn't even know you could do that, right? And the uh, Super Dave, right, with uh, Super Dave Quinn, right? That is yep. also the, the fractional economic development manager, right? I had no earthly idea that you could even do that as well. So I think with, with our economy, the way that we are heading and in, in, in the way that our remote, being able to be re- more remote nowadays than, than before, than ever before, has really played into being able to do that. I mean... We had Tina Breckenfield, right, as a fractional facilities manager. Another really like, wow, I didn't know you could do that kind yeah. of a thing. It's just, it, to me, that that really sticks out and that that is it's almost like a trend, it seems like, with a lot of these entrepreneurs that they're like, okay, hey, you know, I could do this, but but let's spread it out over several companies because those companies can't really afford a, a singular chief financial officer, let's say, right, or a chief operations yep. officer but they, they can afford a fraction of that. And I, I think that's really cool. I obviously could not agree more. And so for the Aggie Growth Axe family that are not on LinkedIn, that are not connected with Chris or I, first off, you need to connect with us. Uh, but secondly, I, I couldn't agree more because speaking with entrepreneurs over the last six seasons and then see, continuing to see how fractional capacity is being used, that has led me and encouraged me to actually take the leap. So I no longer work for the bank that I was working for. I am the proud founder and CEO of GPM Financial, which is a fractional CFO company. So to be able to come alongside and help entrepreneurs with their their capacity in a fractional role, to be able to help give them insight in a fractional role is something that I can say firsthand is obviously impacting my family and myself, but also the customers that we serve. And it's so cool that that this ha- this phenomenon or the way of looking at business has really kind of exploded as part of the, the what what I would call the gig economy. I mean, shoot, I mean, think about it. A a Uber driver is a fractional transportation specialist. You know, there and, and it's that mentality and and with the adaptation of technology and the realization that you don't have to be sitting physically in the same building 40 hours a week to achieve the same results has been so amazing. I, I would also, you know, double down on what you said about the Aggie entrepreneurship and how Aggie Land is continuing to to grow entrepreneurs. I mean, we we had 
uh, Jeff Schiffelbahn. I mean, when he, when he talked about founding Carpool, I mean, something that is that is the standard for that service across the nation, across so many different campuses. But then he was also so open and honest to say, look, I founded this as a student and this thing almost cratered and was destroyed because I couldn't get out of my own way. So the entrepreneurial lessons that he learned there in Aggieland as a student allowed him to, to have the openness to let carpool go and to trust other people to run his vision and to achieve heights that he never even dreamed of, but also to lay the foundation for him to be a good entrepreneur. To, um, we talked about Alex Caesar and Jake Carlisle, who started their companies while they were at a and m and and even even zambria with with swella the the with the technology that she used in order to deal with the the braid problem she found it and she she developed that while she was a student so ags if you ever thought that entrepreneurs entrepreneurship was not part of the fabric of aggie land you are dead wrong and if you are an aggie entrepreneur that is no longer in school, you need to contact the McFerrin Center, reach out to these, these student entrepreneurs. They want to be connected with you, as we're also seeing in the Pass It Back series where, where we're connecting. A couple other things that, that I noticed is that we obviously talked a lot this season about values of a company and how values of the company really help define the company and then provide guidance when things are uncertain and a little bit murky. I mean, because being an entrepreneur, it's, it, your path is laid out 100%. You know exactly what you're going to be doing 10 years from now, and there's no de- deviations of that path, right? Yeah. Right. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 right. <laughs> so, so what do we do when times are tough? We fall back onto things that are our rock-solid foundation, and our rock-solid foundation are the values of our company. And so when, when I look back and I, and I see all the amazing values in the company, the number one value that was repeated over and over and over and over again was integrity. And, and Chris, to me, that speaks volumes of how the Aggie Code of Ethics, the, the foundations of being a good Aggie, do not lie, cheat, or steal, or tolerate those who do. I mean, that's just, that's just good life advice that's good business advice and it makes sense but it is the aggie code of ethics that drive our companies and and help them throughout throughout the entire process so um i I think that that between that and then also realizing that there are some amazingly creative entrepreneurs out there i mean i loved how how a building bureau remote coo under underground support services and even Walker CPA in some form or in a lot of other companies, but in some form or fashion, they were using a workforce that historically had not necessarily been recognized or leveraged as well as the stay at home parent, the stay at home mom or dad that maybe were extremely professional and competent in what they did, but they chose to invest into their family. And as a result, they were taken out of the 40, 50 hour day-to-day workforce. But these entrepreneurs said, I don't want to lose that capacity. I don't want to lose that experience. I don't want to lose that subject matter expertise. And so I'm going to build a company that maybe is a fractional company, maybe it's not, but I'm going to build a company and have a creative solution to this problem. And that's just so cool. We saw that over and over and over again. Absolutely. And speaking to to what you just said there about you know, having the stay at home mom or dad, you know, come in and, and help your company. I mean, that's, that's huge, you know, and I've, I've got entrepreneurial friends that do the same exact thing. Like they will put in, you know, very experienced people into their organization. And that person might only work for like this fractional idea. They might only work part time, right? But they're providing so much value to that company that it helps drive that company forward. So if you, if you're listening to this and you're, and you're an entrepreneur, you know, uh, start tapping into that, that market for sure, because that's, there's a lot of experience that is out there for sure. And it's even better if they're an Aggie. So you can kind of connect with that and, and maybe, maybe I'm, I'm not a CPA, 
you know, but maybe you can have like your business meetings in the fall on Saturday, <laughs> you know, at a tailgate outside of Rita Rita. I, I don't, I'm sure that there's a way to write that business expense off, but call Amy, Amy Walker and her team to make sure that that's, that that's true. Right. <laughs> Well, Ags, that's going to do it for this episode of Aggie Growth Hacks. That's going to do it for this season for Aggie Growth Hacks. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for sticking with us. Uh, If you are not uh, connected with Aggie Growth Hacks or Chris or myself on all the social media channels, make sure that you make sure that you do that. If you're not um, subscribed to Aggie Growth Hacks on whatever podcast you're listening on right now, make sure you hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, give us a review, and that will allow us to get this podcast out to more ags and more entrepreneurs. Be sure to check out our Facebook group as well as aggiegrowthhacks.com where you can go there and listen to any previous episodes. There's a ton of them at this point. And check out some of our other content that we've been producing. Well, join us next season, Ags, when we connect with other fellow great Aggie entrepreneurs and learn how they hack their growth. Until then, I'm Chris Hunter. And I'm Greg Martin. Thanks and gig'em.